Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and welcome back to the third episode in the solo episode series, uh, kind of chronicling um, the launch of my new, new book, Published. So to catch you up, if you haven't already, um, I've done two episodes uh, on uh, kind of leading up to um, this launch. The first episode was about 10 lessons uh, that I learned from rewriting and preparing to relaunch a book. Okay, so if you're writing a book, if you're thinking about relaunching your book, definitely check out that episode. And then the second episode um, was all about the behind the scenes of preparing for launch. Um, so I recorded that video last week uh, or that podcast episode slash video um, last week um, during kind of at the very start of the launch um, for my book published. Uh, and then in this episode, uh, I'm going to walk through uh, stats, lessons learned, uh, you know, kind of general updates on how launch went as a whole, uh, what worked, what didn't, what sold copies, what didn't, uh, all that good stuff. So hopefully in chronicling this kind of uh, in three weeks in a row, I mean, as, you, as you've seen, if you've listened to um, the previous episodes, these are meant to be short and punchy uh, and uh, to the point. And so uh, hopefully you'll uh, be finding this helpful in your own book writing journey. Now, last thing, just kind of uh, a lot of... Uh, <laughs> A lot of just general updates at the start before we dive in. But um, if you're totally unaware of what I'm talking about, this is the the relaunch of my book published. So my book published has been uh, purchased and downloaded, gosh, 100,000, hundreds of thousands of times um, over the last few years. I wrote a second edition with the goal of making this just the absolute best book that exists for writing and publishing a quality book that sells more copies. Okay. So that is the book. It just launched last Tuesday. So we're kind of in the, the home stretch of the launch uh, this week, um, rolling into Christmas. Okay. So um, that's the book that I'm talking about. You can get this book anywhere books are sold. Uh, I would encourage you to go ahead and grab a copy if you haven't already. Um, you can get the audio book. I highly recommend the audio book. Go to publishedbook.com forward slash audible. So published book, like I published a book, publishedbook.com forward slash audible, grab a copy of the audio book narrated by me. Um, I think you'll love it. So um, this is the book. Those are the last two episodes. Um, go watch or listen to those if you haven't already. Uh, and let's dive in with results um, from the launch week. So the start of this promotion, as I kind of mentioned a little bit um, in, in previous episodes, so we started this promotion on Black Friday uh, and I gave away a free copy of the book um, to past readers and kind of did a, a, a giveaway and a contest and all that good stuff. All right. And so that happens starting on Black Friday uh, and we moved a lot of books. So I've got the stat sheet pulled up here uh, on that Black Friday weekend. We moved 2,619 books. Um, we had 69 appointments booked with my team um, that generated about $49,000 in revenue. Um, for self-publishing school um, from that promotion. Then after that, we rolled into the pre, a pre-release promo. So kind of um, this was in a, different, a few different places. This was on our site. This was in a couple other places, but it was a pre-release promo. That promo moved about 1,891 books um, ahead of the launch. And that brought in about 91 more qualified appointments and about $43,000 uh, more in revenue for self-publishing school. So bringing the total revenue for self-publishing school at about $92,000 off the pre-release. Um, so that's kind of, uh, those are the two promos um, that we did leading up to the launch. Those were unbelievably successful. Um, definitely did better than I thought they would. The, the big goal for me was to, was to move 5,000 books by the end of the year. So basically from Black Friday to the end of the year, I wanted to move 5,000 books and generate 1,000 appointments for self-publishing school. So those were kind of the big goals. And then my other two goals, as I mentioned previously, were um, 2,500 reviews on the book by the end of January, 1,000 reviews on the Audible version by the end of January, and then a million copies sold or given away by the end of next year. So by the end of uh, 2022. So um, that is, uh, that is, those are um, kind of my overarching goals. And those are some stats on the pre-release promo. Now, there's a few things that I'm kind of doing specifically with this launch. I mentioned last week a behind the scenes. So the handful of things that I was actually do, doing to move copies during launch week. And then I also talked about, so in the book, um, there's a chapter on, I call it the one year launch. Um, and so that's chapter number 22 goes into the one-year launch. So um, right now, as I record 
this episode, I'm kind of in the middle of transitionary period of transitioning from, all right, I'm, I'm wrapping up launch week. Um, and now I am moving into um, the one year launch. And so I'll, I'll kind of circle back towards that towards the end and um, talk about some of the things that I'm doing um, that I'm pretty bullish on that I think will move copies um, of the book over the next year. Uh, but first, so let me let me talk about um, kind of check in on some of the other goals. Uh, and then I'll talk you talk to you about what's what's working, um, what's not working, um, all that good stuff. So what so other goals, um, progress on reviews. So since Black Friday, we've probably gotten about 200 reviews on the physical copy of the book. Uh, and that is, so we're, as, as I record this right now, we're at 1,051 reviews on the physical, so print or ebook version of the book. And we're up to about 106 reviews on the audio book. Okay. So where I was hoping to be at the end of last week was about 1,250 reviews on uh, Amazon for um, the print and audio, or sorry, print and, and Kindle book, excuse me, and uh, was to, to be at about 200 reviews uh, on the audio book. So I'll, I'll kind of go through what's working, what's not working there. So we got a huge boost of reviews from people who had read the first edition of the book. So I did a campaign um, and we got a big boost um, from those folks uh, and um, hooked you know, hook people up with free copies of the book and all that stuff. I will say over the last week, um, reviews have slowed down somewhat significantly. Um, the launch team has worked really, really well. I've got um, a, a, a high quality and just awesome launch week, or sorry, a, awesome launch team um, of about 150 people. I think already about 70 of those folks have written reviews on the book, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and we're kind of in the home stretch of just I'm doing a lot of stuff I teach in the book about one-on-one uh, -on -one follow up and stuff like that um, to the launch team to sweep up final reviews. So really my goal is to be at 1100, 1150 reviews by the end of this week, which is kind of launch, you know, post launch week or launch week two, um, wh whatever you want to call it. So um, the, the, the early campaigns work well, I will say it's just been a little bit slower going than I would like. Now, admittedly, these are very aggressive goals. Um, just kind of across the board, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's been a little bit slower going than than I would like. And the one lesson I would say is just how much more how much more difficult it is to get audiobook reviews. Um, and so, first off, backing up, big shout out to everyone who has left a review on the book. Thank you so much. That has been unbelievably helpful. Um, the support from the self publishing school community, um, from the listeners of this podcast, like it's just been awesome. So thank you guys so much. You're so amazing. Your support is so amazing. Like uh, it's, it's just blown me away. So I'm very, very appreciative of that. Um, and if you have listened to the book or, or, or uh, read the book and haven't left a review, it would mean the world to me if you took a couple minutes to uh, leave a review. So you can go to publishedbook.com forward slash review. Um, you can leave a review on the book. Um, but like I was saying, so the big, big lesson for me is uh, how much tougher it is to get reviews on audiobooks. There's minimum, people have to buy it on Audible, first of all. That means they have to have an Audible account, which, you know, not, you know, we I think sometimes we take it for granted that not a lot of people listen to audiobooks on Audible or have an Audible account, but a lot of people buy stuff from Amazon. So it's much easier for the for them to buy something from Amazon and leave a review than it is for them to leave an audiobook review. Now, long term, I think this means this is more of a defensible moat, meaning that you know, if I can get the book to have momentum on the audiobook platform, then that's going to sell more books. It's going to lead to more reviews, and just like it's going to take longer to reach some of the goals that I have on that platform. But if I just keep the focus on that, which I'm going to, uh, and I'll, I'll I'll do some things related to this podcast on that, then I'm, I'm still pretty bullish um, that that will be, that that's going to be a good source of sales, SPS customers, um, and, and just really royalties and all that stuff long-term. So um, those are kind of some lessons learned. That's the stats on um, the audio book. And so I would say, you know, the launch team concept has worked really well. Um, I mentioned the influencer campaign, that's kind of went out in waves and it's, and it's hard to measure uh, the tangible effect of those influencer boxes. So to date, we've sent about 620 influencer boxes. So definitely no small feat. It's taken a ton of work, but I would say, um, has that moved a ton of books? No. Um, has that led to podcast interviews, led to a bunch of other stuff like that? Yes. And we have already seen, and we've got 
kind of a second wave of boxes going out right now. Um, we were a little bit delayed in some things. Um, so that that has already led to at least, I'd say, five to 10 podcast interviews um, that, I, that have already been booked. And I would say that'll probably lead to another 10 to 20 podcast interviews at a minimum. Um, but for me, and part of what I've talked about in previous episodes and just kind of my ethos as a whole, is just adding value first. So it's, it's relational deposits um, for a lot of strategic partners. Like this will lead to a lot of other things um, for self-publishing school and for the book as a whole. So my goal right now is, is to get this book in as many hands as possible. <laughs> and really, I believe that in doing so, the compound effect will just keep compounding and keep compounding. And now, so on that note, uh, with a lot of our pre-sales, so we got, uh, you know, all the books shipped out for us base um, folks that, that claim pre-sales last week, um, a little bit delayed. So there are, you know, just right now at the time of recording this, there, you know, there's supply chain stuff. There's gosh, all kinds of disruptions that have really just slowed that out. I would have loved to have gotten those books out either a few days before the launch or at a minimum like launch day. But so I think that has just slowed us a bit in kind of the pull through on people getting the book, posting about it, leaving reviews, kind of the social um, uh, component of that. Um, so that's, um, that's kind of some updates on how some of those things have got, uh, how some of those things have gone as well. I've been doing a big push and experimenting a lot on social media. Um, if you guys, uh, you know, we have a social media for authors uh, program at self publishing school. Um, but if, maybe if you're friends with me on Facebook or elsewhere, you've seen me, I've just been testing a bunch of that stuff. And so I've been changing my profile picture. I've been posting in self publishing school groups, um, posting updates, kind of, it's a, it's a whole process that we, teach or that I teach in the book itself as well. So there, there's a, a piece, um, there's a chapter, it's all about building buzz. It's chapter 14 in the book and sharing your author journey. So I've been implementing that and using that content as part of the launch. And that has created a, a really good, like a lot of us. And that's led to reviews, that's led to purchases, that's led to um, so many different things. And so that's, that's kind of helped us get off to a, a a, a really strong start. I didn't mention this earlier, but the book just kind of last week, how the week went as a whole is we started a little slow on launch day, um, but we had a lot of our promos kind of backloaded on, on the back part of, of the week. And those, those went well. And so we, you know, the book reached number one in a ton of categories um, and it's kind of fluctuated in and out of, of, of the number one spot on categories since then. It, it kept momentum going all the way through the weekend. Like the back half was really strong. And I attribute that to some of the target pro, targeted promos. A lot of the podcast interviews that I did got dropped on the back half of last week. So that's certainly been helpful. And that's led to books being claimed. So I mentioned on the previous uh, pod that, uh, you know, I was doing the call to action at the end of podcast interviews to, uh, you know, get a copy of the book for free um, for a limited you know, amount of people per podcast. And so that's been working well. We've had a ton of books claimed through that. Uh, and that's going to keep, you know, that's led to appointments for self-publishing school. That's led to, um, you know, self-publishing school customers, all those things, which, um, you know, is, is kind of the big goal um, on the back end of the book. And so those, all those things have worked well. Um, I will say, you know, the one thing that I think hasn't worked as well as I would like it to, and, and it's something I'm, I'm really going to, do a, more of a, a deep dive and reflection on post-launch uh, is the Bolt Farm uh, trip giveaway. Now, the giveaway itself has been really, really helpful. Like, it, a ton of people have done it. Like, it has definitely pushed people over the line for purchasing the book and uh, for um, leaving reviews and all that stuff. So I think the giveaway itself has been good. Um, I think um, I'm, I think I'm reevaluating whether or not it makes sense to do as a one-off promo outside of launch week or whether it's, and whether that would be better than what I did, which is the main promo as part of launch week, if that makes sense. So my hypothesis, and we've seen this with a bunch of marketing that we've done at self-publishing school over the years, is just the more steps that you give someone to do something, the least likely they are to do that thing. It's very simple. It makes sense, right? But if it's go to this giveaway and then you got to enter your information and then you got to click this link and then head over to Amazon and then buy the book and then come back and then fill out this thing and blah, blah, blah. It's just less likely to happen than if I would have just sent an email and said, 
go by the book and reply to this email if you did, right? And, and have some kind of bonus or some kind of special like that. So my hunch is that actually would have been more effective um, and that it's, it's just a little bit too complicated of an explanation um, and, and that that might lead, be leading to less sales. Obviously, email is one of the biggest ways that we promote stuff at self-publishing school. Um, in addition to our sites and a bunch of stuff like that. So that is that is one that, I, you know, that has led me to pause to say, hmm, I don't know if that was as effective as I, as if I would have, you know, thought I might have been better off going directly to the book as a whole. So um, that's something I feel like didn't work as well as would have planned. Um, and it's got me kind of uh, contemplating, um, yeah, just just how that worked and, and whether or not I should have done something differently. Um, there. So th those are kind of, uh, those are the big kind of takeaways and things that worked, um, things that didn't, I would say, as always, like our, our, your customer list, your email list, and social um, are going to, I mean, th that's what's going to move books. And, and for me, that's kind of held true as well as podcast interviews, obviously. And that is where um, you know, because I did go from end to end, I mean, I went from pen to paper on September 1st to the book published on um, December 14th. Um, there was not a lot of time and prep ahead of time. So I knew in doing that, I'm going to go from zero to launch very quickly, but I'm, it, I, this is going to be a stacking launch. So what I talked about earlier is, in, in, you know, the one year launch, that is really what I'm moving into um, right now. So because of that, I didn't have this coordinated you know, months and months and months of recording podcast interviews and they're all dropping on the same week and all that stuff. And so, you know, do I think I missed out on as making as big a splash as I could um, during launch week itself? There's no doubt. Um, but will this continue to stack and compound? And am I glad I did it? Yes. And so we've got a lot of these books getting into people's hands now. Uh, and strategically part of the launch for me, um, was launching out ahead of Christmas and New Year's so that we're top of mind when people are thinking about writing and publishing a book, um, all, you know, kind of while they're on Christmas break and they're thinking about goals for next year or coming into the next year that they're thinking, all right, Chandler Bolt self-publishing school, I think I should work with them. And so that was really a strategic part of this. And, and I'm still bullish uh, on that itself as well. So, so those are some of the things that worked. Um, those are some of the things that didn't work. And then really just Moving forward, I'll kind of wrap up this episode by talking about um, how I'm looking at um, book sales over the next year. Um, so my plan over the next year is I'm going to be doing 25 podcast interviews um, every month. That's the goal. Um, so I did one this morning. I got one tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's the week of Christmas <laughs> that I'm recording this and uh, rolling into a kind of Christmas break on the back half of this week. So my goal is rolling into January, February, December, or <laughs> December, January, February, March, um, et cetera, 25 podcasts at a minimum every single month. And that's going to keep stacking there. And then, and this is what's super important. So there's a chapter in the book that I talk about um, going from uh, your launch to actually selling books long term. And there's a few key things that I talk about. So highly recommend if you got the book, go to these couple of chapters. So section six is all about selling books after you launch. So chapter 21 is I've launched, now what? And I talk about the Lamborghini launch versus the Toyota Camry launch. I talked about this, I think a little bit in the last episode. Then the one year launch and building bridges and creating assets. Uh, and that's the big thing. So obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube channel, you can see some of these things. Uh, but, but the difference between one-off effort uh, and, and creating evergreen assets. And then I also talk about the three-legged stool to long-term book sales, right? And so those are, those are the things that I'm going to be doubling down on. And then, I, then there's the next chapter, which is four ways to sell more books after, your, after you launch. Um, and so those are the things I'm going to be doubling down on moving forward. Like I said, more podcast interviews, um, a dedicated call to action on this podcast every week where it's in the pre-roll or post-roll. It's scaling Amazon ads. We're in the middle of dialing in Amazon ads um, as we speak. It's, um, it's a bunch of other things. It's building out funnels and evergreen assets that attach to what we do that will continue to sell books. So that is where my mind's already going. You know, for those of you who have launched a book before, you know that it's a, it's a mix of adrenaline, excitement, and exhaustion. So I think I'm in, in some ways kind of rolling into uh, Christmas like, whoo, 
it, this is, this was an exhausting stretch and I just got, I just got, got done running a marathon um, amongst all the other business stuff that's happening right now, which is, you know, we're putting together our 2022 budget. <laughs> I'm hiring for a couple of key positions right now. We just had our leadership offsite um, the week before last um, doing all the planning for next year. So like all that has kind of felt like it's been sprinkled within this launch. And so I've been running a hundred miles an hour and very excited to be taking some time off um, over the uh, over the long weekend and over New Year's and all that stuff. But um, I, I think it's I, I think it's you know any of you who have done this, you know <laughs> that it, it's exhausting, it's exhilarating, um, and but then the big thing, and this is where I think you know I'm having to even remind myself this is that so many authors their launch is their finish line. And, and your launch is not your finish line. Your launch is your starting point. Woo! All right. That's going to be convicting for some people. Your launch is not your finish line. Your launch is your starting point. Now, it can feel like a finish line because you've been, you've just been running. And I feel that. Um, but if you, if you truly want to sell more books long term, if you truly want to set your book up for success to become a bestseller long term, um, and grow your business or, or whatever your goals are, then you have to continue to market the book. So that's where for me, it's kind of like, all right, sprint and button up these things that will like reviews and like other things that will keep, keep book sales going over the next year, then take a break, reset, refresh, get my mind right. And then come back in January and double down on all the things that I know and will help this book sell better long-term. Um, so th there you have it. Uh, that's the lessons that I've learned um, from the launch. That's what's next. Uh, you know, what, what worked, what didn't work, what, how I'm looking at the one year launch and selling books long term. I hope that you found this helpful. Uh, I hope that this series was helpful. Um, this is this uh, three part um, solo e episode series, really. I'll be back to interviews um, next week. So We've got some awesome interviews in the can, so we're going to, you know, switch back to your regularly scheduled uh, formatting, <laughs> uh, which will be me, me interviewing the best, most successful authors on the planet about how they've done what you want to do and how they're successfully launching their books. Um, so once again, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, if, if you haven't already, go ahead and grab a copy of the book. You can get the book on Amazon. It's published, The Proven Path from blank page to 10,000 copies sold. Uh, you can get the book on Amazon. You can get the book anywhere books are sold. Um, and, and then I would recommend specifically grab a copy of the audiobook. All right. So if you're a listener of the podcast, you probably like audio content. Well, this is narrated by me. I think you'll love it. You can get a copy of the audiobook at publishedbook.com forward slash audible. Okay. Published book dot com forward slash audible grab a copy there uh and then also if obviously if you've listened to the book if you read the book if you checked out the book um it would mean the world to me um if you left a review um it would also really help me hit some of my goals that i have with the book so um leave a review on the book if you haven't already at publishedbook.com forward slash review all right thank you so much for listening to this episode i hope that you found this helpful um we're happy to chat with you about your book if you're interested in Working with us at self-publishing school, you're thinking, hey, 2022, uh, that's the year that I'm going to be writing and publishing this book. Um, well, then book a call with us at publishedbook.com forward slash apply. You can book a call with the team. We will chat with you, put, start putting together a plan, putting together goals, next steps, um, and see if you're a fit to work with us. And if so, we can map out what that looks like. All right. Hey, Merry Christmas. I hope that you have an amazing holiday season. Uh, and I'll see you back in the next episode um, with an awesome interview that you don't want to miss. See you in the next episode. Talk soon.